I am Joe Crisafulli, Joe Crisafulli, the chief entertainment critic for Neueft. And I have a wonderful guest that I am thrilled to bring to uh, the people of the United States and our membership. And that is La Befana. Benvenuta La Befana. Welcome. Grazie, We're happy grazie. to have you. You look fantastic, by the way. Thank you so much. Uh, I think maybe the last time I saw you, I had a few more teeth, but uh, I, don't, I got maybe, one more. Maybe not, but you know what? You, you're, you're, your one tooth is a beautiful tooth. Thank you. Right, right off the bat, Bifana, I would like to ask you, we're, we're, we're in a very interesting time right now. You look up in the sky and we have a rare conjunction of the Christmas star. Can you tell us what's special about this rare conjunction of the Christmas star? Oh, mamma mia, this is like exactly like the Christmas star that changed my life for centuries ago. Oh, the one really? that the three magi were following in this, in when they came over to my house. It's like the same thing. You know, they were very smart men. They told me about uh, all things I really can't even remember, but they told me one day in the future, a long time uh, uh, from now, we're, we're going to see that the Christmas star again, and I'm pretty sure we just saw it. I think this is it. I think this is it. Now, Befana, I've seen a lot of you around um, on the streets of New York City with, uh, with cookies and with people and having a great time. Can you explain to us exactly what you're doing on the streets of New York? Okay, well... Uh, I came to New York a while ago. My friend, uh, Pasquale, he told me, Befana, it's time. You haven't left Italy all these thousands of years. Go to New yeah. York. Maybe you get on Broadway. Maybe people will remember you like uh, Santa Claus or something. Sure. I said, oh, I really don't want this, but I'll go to New York anyway. And well, then uh, what you know, coronavirus will break out. Uh, Alitalia won't fly me home. My magic broom had broken and uh, I said, what am I gonna do? I, I look around, all the people uh, start to feel so sad. Uh, I said, I got to do something. So I did what I can and uh, you know me, I like to bake the cookies. Uh, so I started to bake the cookies. Uh, I made some new friends uh, with this organization uh, called the City Relief. Do you know them? City Relief. They're Tell us a little about City, City Relief. Relief. Oh, mamma mia! These are people are like uh, like angels. Uh, they they come uh, uh, all over in their bus. It's a beautiful bus. They come all over the city. They bring a soup, a uh, uh, bread, uh, resources, socks, the things you need to survive for a day. To the people who uh, don't have a home and are needing a little bit of hope. So one day walking around the neighborhood, I see them and I got the little spark in my heart that said, maybe I got to go talk to them. Even though I'm very shy, I, I listened. It was like a little whisper and I run over to them and I said, hey, uh, I'm a La Befana. I, I'm new to the neighborhood. Do you think I could uh, come with you and share my cookies with your friends here on the street? And Guess what? They just welcomed me. Oh, that's well, that doesn't doubt me uh, that they welcomed you because we're very happy to have you as well. And you know what? Alitalia and Italy's loss because of the whole coronavirus thing and getting you back home has definitely been our game. So we thank you very much. So oh, how that makes you say, feel so nice. How, well, thank you. And how would you say, Befana, that New York City has changed you? Oh, well, you know me, typically, I don't like uh, people see me. You know, if uh, I visit the kids in the January 5th, I bring them the gifts, but uh, you know, if you try to see me, you might get a little bop on the head right. from my broom. <laughs> but right. uh, New York is a different kind of place. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, my spirit changed. Uh, I'm a little bit more social. I don't mind being in public so much. I don't know what it is about this city, but it, it makes me feel hmm, just alive, like, like I'm young again. Wow. Well, you are famous for not being seen. 
and you do come up when children are asleep. But what what is it? Is it about New York City in particular? Is it about these wonderful new friends you've made that has given you the 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 uh, desire to come out and be seen now for the first time? Well. Yes, I guess so, because, you know, I love my little village in Italy. I like the simple life. Uh, that's always going to be the same. I like to sweep. In Italy, I like to sweep here in New York City. That is oh, the thank same. you. But, uh, you know, I'm meeting people from all over the world. This uh, New York City is uh, one of those, uh, come si dice, uh, the uh, melting... Uh, the melting, uh, melting pot, right? That's what yeah. you say? Did I get that yeah. right? Oh, absolutely correct, Bethana. Absolutely correct. I meet people from all over the world. Uh, and uh, at first, like, I thought, uh, oh, maybe they're not going to like me. Maybe they're going to see my big nose, my mole, my one or two, and say, oh, that's a scary witch. Mm. I was thought maybe. But. Very surprised. These are New Yorkers are very open-minded people. They, you know, said hello. We got to know each other. Of course, I'm not going to make a great impression on everybody. But, you know, after we get to talking, we start to become friends. Oh, fantastic. Now, now, Befana, I have a fairly serious question to ask you now. And I'm sure it's a question all of our members and viewers have been wondering. What is it like to be a living legend? Oh, mamma mia, a living legend. Uh, oh, and I got to think about this one. I think uh, for me, it's, uh, I don't know, you know, everybody thinks they know your story better than you. <laughs> so right. that's kind of funny for me. I hear everyone say, oh no, but this is how it happened for La Bafana, and this is how it happened for La Bafana. But it's nice now to, tell my legend from my own voice. Oh yes, invaluable. And we're all the richer for it. Now, I was wondering, since you are um, of a wisdom that comes with the ages and you did come a great deal to visit us, I was wondering, what advice do you have for humans? Oh, the humans. I really feel for you. This, this is part of the other reason really why I'm making myself visible. A couple of my friends said, La Befana, you've been around for over 2,000 years. You've seen uh, humanity, right? The evolution of humanity, all the darker times, the, the brighter times. You've been there, done that. <laughs> so I know we're in a part of our human evolution that's a little tricky. Uh, but I see so much a hope for the humans. Uh, so I just, uh, I'm here to give you that uh, hope. As we make this, it's like a bridge into another time. Uh, and we're so close. We just need to keep uh, that uh, hope alive in our heart. Well, I think that's a wonderful message and something that has maybe to do with hope. I was wondering if you could tell us what's the difference between joy and happiness? Uh, this I think I see a lot to uh, everybody on their project happy. They want to be so happy. Uh, lit. But these are difficult times, right? Uh, people think they need certain things to be happy, right? It's always dependent on something else. These times are called for a joy. But the joy not mean you everything working out the way you think it's supposed to work out. You know what I'm saying. I think you I do. Well, you, you humans think, oh, only my life is going to be happy if I have a this, a this, a this, a this. And then you wonder why you're not a happy. Joy is a different. It, it means you are, I don't know, I think uh, honest in every moment of the life, uh, this beautiful story of a life. You know, that you just uh, show up uh, with an open heart, uh, curious, and uh, you see what kind of magic you find. Maybe a spiritual authenticity, regardless of our circumstances. Well, That's said, wonderful. You said that better than me. Thank you. Oh, I like no, to have no. a translator. <laughs> well, seeing as how that's such a wonderful goal and what you've been doing to help us achieve that goal, could you tell us how 
our cookies going to change the world? I know everybody think, oh, love it, funny, you crazy. You little old lady, you, 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 you lost your mind. The cookies are going to change the world. Uh, but uh, it's, it, it takes time. You know, I've been watching the humans for a long time. And uh, sometimes life is difficult. It, it doesn't treat everybody the same way. Some people get a hard, the hard knocks, you know, and it makes your heart a little bit hard. So nothing like a, a nice sweet to, to soften up the heart, to open it up a little bit so you can maybe find the magic in the life again. Oh, grazie moltissimo Befana. That is so wonderful. And we are so happy to have you here for the upcoming Feast of the Epiphany and oh, for this you. whole Christmas and holiday season. Thank you so much. God bless you and your work. We really appreciate you. Thank you. And I hope uh, you come. We're going to have a big virtual party for the, for the epiphany with uh, my friends. Uh, and I hope uh, you come and we're going to dance and make a cookies, uh, dream about the future and have a good time. And, and how, how can we take part in that, Bifana? Explain to us. Oh, uh, well, uh, you can go to... First, I got a gift. Oh, my goodness. I got the too many things for you. One, I got the gift for you. you if you go to uh, uh, uh your members can, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, download, uh, download the free copy of my story. Oh, it's about... Oh, wonderful. Thank yes. Uh, and then uh, we're going to, from there, we send you an email, invite you to uh, our party so that we can keep, uh, you know, alone together, uh, but with a joy and love in our hearts. Wonderful. Sounds good. So we implore everyone to go check that out. It's going to be a wonderful get together. And la befana. Grazie moltissimo. Grazie.